So check this out, right? So this is that same engine that we're doing with all the interactive surfaces, but mm -hmm. here, um, your image is being pulled out of the real world and put into it. So if you're not moving, you will completely um, disappear and there'll be no interaction. But, but so, as long as you're moving, you get sort of pulled through and you become part of the interactive content. And it obviously can be any size, any shape. This is just on a TV. So it's right. a turnkey, it's literally a turnkey, all in one computer, camera, and TV that we can just put in someplace and people can interact. And it can be part of a digital signage. And, and the actual um, projected section can be just one of the windows. So we can make that any size, and the rest of it be digital signage. I don't think if I've got, I think this might be that. Yeah, so this will show more of it in the digital signage mode, where it's just a part of an overall digital signage. Right. And a lot of it is just, it's attracting people in, and then we, we might, depending on the setup, we might make it a touch screen at the same time. So once you've been attracted and you're interacting, there's a call to action, hey, touch the screen, then people can navigate you know, through the various content to, to, to get information and to put their name on. Uh, basically what we end up having is there's all sorts of um, templates of effects. So um, this is a wipe that you're getting here where I'm stepping over something and wiping it away. These are, um, there's a wipe going up here on the bottom, but there's also interactive objects that are on top that will just move to my uh, um, foot. And this is interactive, like a water effect with an object effect, but also object emit. So wherever I'm walking, I'm emitting these objects. This is an interactive ice effect. Obviously, we can layer everything because we've got a water effect under it. Um, we can put other effects. Some of these will come up, you'll see there'll be like multiple levels of effects. That's just, you know, I've got contained water in one specific place and then um, the objects are, are interacting right. in the other. <laughs> so yeah, there's all sorts of different, um, this is actually just done with a combination. This is uh, a wiping away of one picture, which is, we call it right view because it comes back in, but then the, the objects that you're seeing that are, are being emitted from my action. And then the other thing that we do is we can create game-like or, or, or more sophisticated interactions by using Flash. So people will program in Flash, and then we port it into the system, um, so that it's you end up having um, you know more more dynamic game-like interaction for things as opposed to purely effects. So. Projected IR as as the as what we do for our standard 42 inch. 
we also have done it with the, 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 the foils. If it's going in someplace, it needs to be sort of more spill proof because we're, let's say it's a bar or a restaurant and, and people are going to have drinks and stuff around. Right. This could be made spill proof, but it's like it's spill proof in that it, it won't damage the, uh, the electronics. But the reality is, is that you know it's, it still gets spilled into the electronics and they need to get cleaned off at some point. So we usually do that with a lid that, that lifts. Right. I saw a bar top. I guess you did it in San Diego. We did a bar top in San Diego. Yeah, I saw it um, online. Ivy Hotel. Right. Was it the Ivy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that were you were in that, the Ivy Hotel? No, I, I went oh, online and checked. Oh yeah, checked yeah, 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 That was. We actually, when we first did that, they had us do a um, like a I don't know, like a a couple tables that were people dancers were meant to get up on and. and, and <laughs> But it just, it was getting too crazy. Right. People, like too many people jumping up on it, and it was too dangerous from that point of view. It's like, if it was on the floor, it would have been fine. Right. But just the idea that drunk people could fall off the table. That's so they, they had to switch an IR on, on. And uh, I'm not seeing the IR, so it's not turned on. So I'm not going to... But it, I showed you the, the right. sort of stuff with that. So we'll just leave that now. So the last thing in terms of just to, you know, just to show... So I was showing you this before, and, and what, most of what you're seeing on the line you know, is 10 people reaching in, or I could have it just something small that's for one person just to step up. But the idea here is that obviously I can I step up, and I'm just taking over like I would take over multi-touch or, or screen. Uh, you know, I can do all sort of click and holds, and I can you know, move objects around, I can rotate things in 3D or whatever that might be. The metaphor that we use basically in this, we keep it really simple. People just, like if I roll over this, you know, nothing's going to happen, but if I stop, then it, it engages. So the same thing, I'll show you this in terms of if I go out, um, let me go back. If I roll over this, you see you get a rollover, but not until I actually stop on something will it click it. So same thing here, if I stop over it, I can move it. So same thing here, I can move this around in 3D because it's not locked on, on a 2D plane. Um, this also happens to be, you know, has interactive dynamic elements to it, so I can play with them, I can open up the roof, I can make it strong. Yeah. Same with the, you know, anyway, so you get the idea. I mean, right. I, it's just that what you can do with the point in control, pretty much you can do like similar things that you would be doing, but just uh, but you know some of them some of the applications